Hi, I'm Melinda Van Fleet, and welcome to the Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I'm a success coach, speaker, and business consultant, and my husband Ryan and I were laid off at the same time 10 years ago. We moved to the Florida Keys without jobs, not knowing anyone, hardly any money, and we'd never even been here. But we made it, and now we're living our best lives. And all along on our journey, I've said that someday when we get our quote unquote shit together, we will help others. And since then, we've both done a lot of self-work and built successful businesses. So that day is here, and one of my ways of paying it forward is through this podcast. Each week, my intent is to be relatable and bring you tactical tips, tools, share my learnings and stories that can help inspire or transform you wherever you are in your career or general life and make an impact. I strongly believe that if I can do it, you can do it too. So what's stopping you? Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I am so grateful that my friend and spiritual teacher, Deborah Lupian, can join us again for another absolutely beautiful meditation. She has been on the podcast several times, and her meditations are episode 60 and 72, so definitely check them out. This meditation is filled with so much love and clarity and guidance guidance for um, helping anyone out there that's really struggling with what's going on in the world. And I do believe that we're all affected. I have the chills just sitting here right now talking and thinking about it. So I think that this message is right on. And what is also so beautiful about this message is it's not just a meditation, but it's also just something you can listen to because it does have that element of clarity and helping you focus to get through what might be a challenging time. And even if you're not personally feeling challenged with what's going on, your your job might be good, your family, and all of that, it's the people around you that are struggling, and their behaviors are affecting other people. And I know that is personally what my husband and I, I have been dealing with a lot of, is other people's behaviors and their energy And really just continuing to try to protect our energy and keep going and keep focused and not um, get caught up in everyone else's stuff. So I hope you love this meditation. Please stay and listen till the very end because we do chat about some things that Deborah has going on, some amazing things that she offers, and how you can connect with her. So get comfy and enjoy. Thank you so much. So it's a beautiful day in the world today. And I know for some people, it might not seem like a beautiful day because there's so much swirling chaos, fear, doubt. But your guides and your angels want you to know that's only temporary. Dear beautiful souls, we are living today in this very moment the experience of the next evolution of humanity. Evolution generally is not easy, and it does come with some pain, as we've all observed. But know that it's for the greater purpose. No beautiful children. There was so much seething hate, bigotry, writhing, under your feet, disrupting your foundation, infecting the weaker. That needed to be rooted out so that you could move freely and clearly, more empowered into your awakening, your ascension, the next version of humanity, which we promise you, is a golden age. The bigotry and the hatred will be transmuted. It will be rooted out. You are moving into a phase of more joy, more bliss, more cooperation with your fellow souls. And truly, we promise you, in this new space, you will not see 
skin color. You will not notice the physical form. You will have transformed to awakened vision of seeing the beautiful soul that exists inside of each of these skin suits. And we promise you, when you look at each other, soul to soul, you will be profoundly changed. There will be more love for one another. There will be more cooperation. And in this new place of awakened humanity, there will be cooperation, collaboration, exhilaration, more opportunity, more insight, more wisdom, more, 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 more of the positive, uplifting, golden, creator, love, and light. That is what you are moving towards. And we want you to understand that while this global pandemic you're experiencing is scary, and many will pass from this plane, it is all in divine, perfect timing. Understand that souls only depart the body when they are ready. The virus is simply a convenient means for a large number of souls to exit at this time. Those souls do not wish to remain behind to experience the growing pains of this evolution. And that is perfect. That is their soul choice. They'll come back around again when they're ready. Those of you, beautiful light workers, who are choosing to stay behind and do the heavy lifting, we send to you so much love and light. Know that we are here supporting you and lifting you up so that it need not be a struggle. Know that while it might feel quite uncomfortable, if you will remember, we are here supporting you. Breathe, relax, allow us to be there and to help you through this with more ease. When you do that, it will happen faster. You'll get to that golden age faster. And trust us when we say it will be glorious. As much as what you experience now seems unthinkable, something you never dreamed you could experience in a dark way, what is coming for you on the other side is the polar opposite. So amazing, so wonderful, so filled with love, delight, excitement, exhilaration, that you will marvel at the extraordinary feeling and being, never having imagined it could be so. And truly, it couldn't have been in your old way of being. So as you ride the tsunami of this cosmic wave of transformation, know that we've got you. We're supporting you. We're lifting you up. And rock that wave, children. Enjoy it. Yes, there is work. Yes, there is some struggle. But by changing your perceptive, your perception, and going with the flow, rather than being in fear of what you have not yet experienced, it will be so much easier, so much better, so much more comfortable. It can be like a dream if you let it. Just flow with it. And when you reach those moments where fear overtakes you and you feel as if you just cannot stand it another minute, 
that's the time to step back. Do your meditation. Go into breathe. Relax. Allow. Let us lift you up and take you out of that space of fear. Do not dance with darkness. Do not stay in that place of fear any longer than necessary. As soon as you notice it, take immediate action to step out of it. And we promise you, the more you do that, the less often you will find yourself in that dark space. And one day it will be totally washed away. You will feel as if you are floating on the clouds. It will be so easy, so wonderful. And that's what awaits you. So in this moment, we call upon you to rise up in faith, in strength, confidence, and understanding that more and better is coming to you. Keep moving forward. When you encounter an obstacle, do not despair. Simply move around the obstacle, whether that's over it, around it, or whether you call upon us to lift you up and carry you across it. All things are possible. Nothing can stop you because you are on a divinely guided soul journey. You will prevail. Just keep moving forward. And as you do, reach out to those around you. Lift them up. If they have not yet discovered this truth, share it with them. Share the love and the light. Bring them together as comrades in arms. Walk together into the beautiful, bright future. Walk together into the amazing gold and sunshine that will light you up and clear away all the darkness. Know that this is a time where collaboration, partnership, Teamwork is going to be more important than ever. Yes, there will be some heavy lifting as you move into this new place. You're rebuilding from the very foundation. And this time, that seething underbelly of hate and bigotry will not be there to corrupt your foundation. You will be standing on the firm, beautiful, divinely guided, foundation that will support you far into the future until you're ready for the next stage of human evolution which will come all in good time know that as you move from this third dimensional understanding of your world it may take a while to get your sea legs to feel strong and confident, and that's okay. Remember, babies have to crawl before they walk and before they run. But run you will. You are now in the midst of this long marathon towards that next evolution of humanity. But you are ready. You have prepared for this. You would not have chosen to be here at this time if you were not strong enough and able to help usher in this new golden age. And so your angels are reaching out to you, encouraging you to hold their hands, let them lift you up in joy and in light. Feel that love and that light penetrate your body. Feel it sinking deep into your heart chakra, lighting you up from the inside out, filling you with an even higher quotient of divine love 
and energy. Feel it bursting from you in abundance so that it spills over and touches those around you, inspiring them, encouraging them. Together, beautiful souls, join hands and walk forward into your new awareness, into your next level of evolution, this new glorious golden age. And with that, your angels gently kiss you on your third eye, blessing you deeply, warming you all over. And they bid you farewell, but just for this moment. Know that they are right there. You just call them and they will come back. And they say, please call us more. We have lots of time. We have an infinite amount of time for you, dear, beautiful child, because it's all about you and your journey. We love you so very much. Come to the well often. Allow us to fill you up. That is our pleasure and our privilege. In fact, it is our very purpose. Thank you for allowing us to help you. And with that, the angels say, Amen and Amen. Wow, thank you so much, Deborah. That's just so beautiful. I felt the energy the entire time. It's beautiful. I'm so glad. Powerful and you know, a positive message too in regards to, you know, if someone just were to listen to this and not really use it as a meditation, they'd still get something from it because obviously the, the message from the divine about, you know, how we should be moving forward through all of this is, um, is really helpful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so beautiful. welcome. I think it's it, that message came because there's so much fear and confusion right now. And just, we needed help. I think we need reassurance to know that we really can survive this. That's a really great way to put it. Reassurance to know that we can survive this. Cause that's true. I do feel that, you know, I constantly hear, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, if you feel positive, that we can survive this, that things will work out and we're all going to be okay, then that's just a huge peace of mind to begin with. That's amazing. Yeah. And I think it also shifts your physical body, making you less susceptible mm -hmm. to things like the virus. It yeah. strengthens you, yeah. allowing that love and light to fill you up. Yeah. More of an immune boost could we ask for? Yeah, I was just going to say it's your own like, built-in vitamin C or vitamin D, whatever, you, you know, you want to, you want to take. Cause if you feel that you, you know, aren't going to be affected, then you have that shield put up around you too, you know? Yes. And we all have the ability to call our angels and put that shield around us. We just have to ask. Yeah, and thank you for that reminder. It's, it's so true. And I know I've gotten better at it. Um, but it took work and it took practice, right? To <laughs> remember, I can ask for help. I can ask for help. I have the power to ask for help. So um, it's, it's a good reminder. It's a really good reminder. Thank you. You're welcome. It does take time because you know it's building a new habit. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I think that's been my biggest learning over the years is you know, just reading one book doesn't change your life. You really have to continue to work and continue to practice and continue to make habits. And, you know, it's definitely something Ryan and I talk about a lot. So <laughs> if, if that were my a big message that I could share with anybody, it would be know that, know that and do the work because you have to, to make the change. You do. And the healing comes in layers. We know that because you can't do it all at once. It would be overwhelming. So true. Yep. Absolutely. Baby steps and a small step every day or once a week, whatever, whatever you can 
do is always really, really, really positive. So, yeah, just keep moving forward. That's the important thing. Yep, absolutely. Well, as always, I love chatting with you more than words could ever express. And I love your meditations. I'm so grateful. This is your third podcast meditation. So I just love that you're a, a regular. I appreciate that. And I know my audience does too. And you have some exciting things to share. So I will let you share them. And I just want everyone to know that I think I was the first person to sign up, sign up for one of the things Deborah's going to share with you. And I cannot wait. I'm like over the moon. So I will put it in your court. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. And thank you for inviting me back. It's, it's always a delight to interact with you. Your energy is just so beautiful. Ditto. Back at you. So coming up, I'm going to be teaching learning to read your Akashic records because if you haven't already heard me say it, your Akashic records are your user manual and you need your user manual. You need that information, especially now in this time. So I'm teaching people how to access their own records so they don't always have to rely upon others to do it for them. My mission is all about empowering you to take advantage of this massive resource, the Akashic records. So we're going to be starting that next Thursday. That's, I believe that's the 20th. The link to the course will be in the show notes because it's a little long for me to tell you about it. But I would love to have you join me. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to have three classes. We're going to have a lot of interaction. We'll be sharing with each other and we'll be building our skills together. So it's going to be fun and exciting. You're going to come out of it with confidence that you can connect with your guides and angels. You can connect with divine. You can connect with Archangel Metatron. You can even connect with departed loved ones through the Akashic Records, which is really a phenomenal extra benefit. So I encourage you, if you have any interest at all in learning to step up to this new level of empowerment through the Akashic Records, then follow that link, get the information, and join us next Thursday because we're going to have a ball. Yes. And yay. I'm, I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. You know, somebody who took the course last time wrote to me and she said how much she appreciated it because she had in her mind that learning to read the Akashic records was hard. And she was astonished to find out how easy it was once she had the proper tools and the understanding of how to do it. So I, I love that. I love that she perceived it as easy. That's my intention for all of you. And truly it is when you get out of your own way and you relax and allow it to be. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I guess I hadn't thought easier or hard, I was, but when I sit here and think about it, I'm like, Oh yeah, it might be hard. So it is great to hear that it's not. That's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Because it's all about flow, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And then also um, your monthly Zoom reading calls that everyone should be taking part in. Fantastic. Yeah, that's going to be this coming Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. If you haven't already signed up for my VIP list to get your Zoom link, do that. It's akashaunleashed.com slash VIP. And Melinda will put that in the show notes too. We come together for about two hours on a Saturday morning, morning here, at least in the eastern part of the country. It's ask your guides, so you're invited to ask questions of your guides, and I will channel the answers for you. It's always uplifting. It's always a high vibe energy experience and just a delight, so please join us. We'd love to have you. Yeah, it's been, I think this, I've been on four months in a row, maybe, and I would never miss it unless, obviously, like, there's some crazy reason I can't be on it because I also learn so much from everyone else's questions and it makes me think so you know you, you can have your camera off if you're uncomfortable or something like that um, but you can ask a question the first time if you don't want to but then you might be inspired by the end of the time I think that's what happened to me the first time is like I didn't feel I had a question and then I got inspired which is cool I'm like oh I can ask something like that I would love to know and it just helps provide, as I, we've talked about before, clarity and confidence, which are just two huge, huge, huge wins in terms of moving forward on something in your life. It's just so powerful. And I love that. Yeah. So, you know, there was one month when a lady came on and she asked me to ask her guides 
or ask Jesus why this COVID thing was happening. And that was a really interesting message that came through. Hmm. So you really, you really can't ask anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, if you have that um, link to the video, I can put that in the show notes too. If someone wants to hear that, they might want to. Oh, on the ask Jesus one. Yeah. I can send you that link. Sure. Cool, cool. I'll put that in the show notes too. And even though what we're talking about might be a little um, calendar oriented, I'll put it that way you know, please sign up for Deborah's email list. That way you're always aware of, you know, classes she might be offering and her monthly Zoom calls. If you're just on the email list, there you go. You'll, you'll get the information like immediately if you're listening to this after the dates that we talked about. So I highly recommend it. She doesn't bombard you with 5 million emails at all. So, <laughs> which is nice in general, because some people you get an email every day, it's not really necessary, but um, you'll always be aware of what, what she's got going on, which is very cool. Thank you, Melinda. Yes. Well, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope everyone loves this podcast and meditation as much as I do. And I hope to hear that some of you have either signed up for the class and you'll be in the class with me or see you on the Zoom calls as well. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.